Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Um, so for today, I want to talk about something that I come across a lot is an existential crisis. Why you may be experiencing now and how you can overcome it. So let's go, guys. Okay, so if you're stuck in an existential crisis, there may be a couple reasons as to why. So the first reason is you're probably, you've probably been in a state of fight or flight for so long that it's caused you to hit that freeze mechanism and depersonalize and derealize from yourself, which is leading to ex, uh, existential crisis. So I can break that down for you. So fight or flight, if you haven't heard by now, uh, I hear it all over. <laughs> I've heard it from so many videos, but I don't, if you guys are newer to this kind of stuff or whatever, fight or flight basically is... You know, back in the day, our ancestors developed this to survive. It increases your adrenaline, increases your blood flow. You know, it makes your heart beat harder, uh, your heart palpitate, and it gives you extra strength. It gives you extra speed. So if you're going to fight the thing, fight the tiger or whatever it is that you're going against, or you're going to run from it, it gives you that extra, the extra boost to help you survive. So there's also a freeze. Uh, there's also something that's called freeze. It's fight, flight, or freeze. And not a lot of people talk about freeze. It leads to depersonalization and derealization so if you've seen an antelope in the wild and it freezes up that's exactly what it is except we do it a little bit differently but it freezes up so it helps it survive because either the lion thinks it's dead or the lion gets bored and it's like it's not even worth the chase anymore <laughs> it just laid down and die and it helps it survive but the way we do the freeze mechanisms freeze mechanism geez um is we dissociate from ourselves or we dissociate from our environment around us Dissociating from ourself is depersonalization. Dissociating from the environment around us is derealization. So basically, that means that we feel like nothing, you know, either we, we look at ourselves in the mirror and we don't seem real or the environment seems fake, you know, everyone's a robot or whatever you want to think. So basically, we develop this because, you know, when we're about to be killed, you know, we think we're about to be killed by a line or whatever, we want to make it as painless as possible. So that's why we dissociate from ourself or environment. That's, that's basically all there is to that. Um, so that's why this can lead to existential thoughts, because if we don't feel like we're real, we don't feel like the environment is real around, the, around us, then it can lead to existential thoughts. It's pretty easy to transition over that, to segue over to that. So it makes it easy to freak out when you're like, okay, I don't feel real. I'm scared right now. It's easy to have existential thoughts and feel like nothing's real. And what's the point of all this and stuff and spiral into that, you know, spiral out of control like that. So that's one reason. Also, another reason is if you struggle with OCD, you struggle with intrusive thoughts, you know, that could lead to an existential crisis as well, because you're constantly thinking these thoughts and you're taking them, you know, as reality when they're just thoughts and you keep, you keep thinking about these thoughts, you obsess about a thought. Cause that's what I did. I, I have OCD and that's actually what led to my anxiety and depression. I never knew that until like a few years ago that I actually had OCD. I always thought it was just anxiety because I would literally because how it started was when I had my first panic attack I was in my car and it was in winter and I was driving to work and I was like okay I feel really weird like I literally felt like I was gonna I was like sweating uh, my ears like popped um, I had like a headache I felt dizzy and I felt like I was gonna pass out and it kept getting worse and worse and worse I was like I'm gonna pass out I'm gonna pass out and I was getting so terrified because I thought I was dying I was like what is going on and that's what a lot of people say they think they're dying or they're having a heart attack and that's what it feels like. It's so terrifying. You just dissociate and then you get really like this feeling like you're like, what? what's going on? Like this feels really like it just feels really strange. If you haven't experienced a panic attack or anxiety attack, trust me, it's not fun. It is extremely terrifying and it's easy to think why people think they're dying. It's easy to see why people think that. And it leads to basically what it did was it led to an obsessive thought because I thought, I was dying and I was like, oh, it's only happening in my car, you know, so I looked at the symptoms and I was like, oh, carbon monoxide, that makes sense, because I'm in my car, there's heat, oh, there's a, there's a garbage truck, um, I'm in my car, there's heat, this is only happening in my car, it matches the symptoms perfectly, so I'm like, it makes sense, carbon monoxide, that's what I have, exactly, so that's what I kept thinking, I had carbon monoxide, even when I had my car taken in and checked by the mechanic, He's like, dude, there's no carbon monoxide leaking and you're fine. I kept convincing myself that I carbon monoxide was leaking. I was like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. 
carbon dioxide is coming in, <laughs> it is gonna kill me. And that's what I kept convincing myself, and I would obsess about that. Then once I got over that, I would obsess about something else which would cause anxiety, cause constant anxiety because I obsessed. And I would move on to a different topic every day. And I would move on to, oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh, I'm gonna have a stroke. And it just got really bad. And I just realized one day, I was like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, take a deep breath and just relax. Like, you keep thinking you're gonna die of every single thing. This is ridiculous. And that's how it gets, that's how OCD is because OCD can take over your life like that. And if you're having, if you're starting to have scary thoughts, you can obsess about that and you can think that that's real and you're like, okay, I, I'm going to think about these existential thoughts. Then you'll go down a rabbit hole and you'll just watch these videos. You're like, this guy said, that, you know, I'm, I'm living, I'm living in a, this is a, this is a real, this is a dream. You know, this is, I'm, I'm just having a dream. I'm going to wake up. All this is going to be over or, or, oh yeah, like you can think whatever you want. You can think that people with dog heads are the gods and they're watching down. You can convince yourself of everything when you're in either the state of constant fight or flight or you're just, you know, an anxious person or a depressed person or you have you know, your own mental health challenges. You can convince yourself of anything and you will stick by and think that that's what's happening. And in reality, we have no idea. We have no idea why we're here and the only advice I can have for you guys if you're having these existential thoughts mainly is just realize that we don't know why we're here, <laughs> okay? No one knows why they're here. No one knows what happens after we die because obviously we never experienced if we have. It was in a past life and we don't remember, you know, if you believe in that kind of stuff. No one knows. No one knows why we're on this planet, but why question it? Why just, why not just live it, you know? Why not enjoy it? Why always spend your time searching for answers you're never going to get the answer to and make yourself miserable every day in the process and feel anxious and feel all these awful feelings and waste it. Like, let's say this is your one life. You wasted it for no reason, freaking out every day, you know, looking for answers. You're never going to get the, you know, questioning things. You're never going to have the answer to. You're never going to know as much, no matter how much you obsess about it, you're never going to know. So just live it, just experience every day, just live your best life. Don't let anxiety and depression, if this is your only life that you get, don't let it ruin it. Be amazing. You guys are all capable of amazing things. I know this stuff is scary. I know it's hard to overcome it, but you guys are all stronger than you think. You've been through this for this long and you've kept fighting. A lot of people would give up in this situation. A lot of people don't know the struggles you're going through, but that's okay. Use these struggles to push you and show all these people Especially if you have people telling you that you can't do it. Use these struggles as motivation. Use those people and push and be the greatest person you can be. Help people along your way. Be just If you have one life, be amazing. You guys are all capable of it. None of us deserve to sit here and suffer every day and not live life to the fullest and not, you know, experience love or experience, you know, your purpose in life or find, you know, travel the world or whatever you want to do. Do it, guys. Just live your life. Stop living in this state of you don't know what's going on, you don't know if this is real, you know, living in this anxious state all the time. It's not doing any good for you guys. It's just hurting you. I want to see you guys all thrive and live the greatest life possible. So we can do it together, guys. So that's all I have for the existential crisis. Um, I hope, hope this helps you guys out. You know, if you have any more questions or comments or anything, you know, just make sure you guys uh, leave comments below. If you guys uh, obviously like this content, make sure you guys subscribe or leave a little thumbs up. Mm, thumbs up. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry, I'm weird. Um, yeah, but if you if you guys, you know, if you like this content, make sure you guys share it as well. Um, and just keep tuning in. I'm going to keep making videos for you guys. I know this is, it, this honestly could have turned into like an hour long video. I could have ranted for an hour, but I just kind of summed it up for you guys. So I, I do have more information if you guys have, you know, questions and stuff. I just wanted to get right to the point and tell you how you guys can deal with this and how I can help you guys out in the shortest, quickest way possible, not ramble on for two hours because I have a tendency of doing that. So, um, like I said, <laughs> hope you guys like this video. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.